Okay, so the 2022 Math Count State Competition is here. So, in this video, we'll be taking a look at problems from last year's 2021 state competition. Um, so, this first problem is the number, the seventh problem from the sprint round. Ben, Rachel, and Terry collected seashells on a beach. Ben collected five more than twice as many seashells as Terry collected. Rachel collected seven less than four times as many seashells as Terry collected. If Ben and Rachel collected the same number, so we know that Ben and Rachel collected the same number of seashells, how many, how many seashells did Terry collect? In here, there is a lot of information. But what catches my eye the most is this last sentence. Ben and Rachel collected the same number of seashells. When there's the same number of something, or the same amount of something, you should know that the first sign that comes up in your brain, it should be the equal sign. And we are finding one amount, one unknown amount, and that's how many seashells Terry collected. And there are three values. So there's Ben and Rachel. So what we're really trying to find is, um, both of these have, both Ben and Rachel has a connection with Terry. So we're just trying to express this using numbers and we're trying to find the values. Okay, so right after I say that sentence, um, you should be starting to think of functions and how we can make a function like this. So the first sentence is explaining how much Ben collected um, but both of these are based on the variable Terry. So I'm just going to set a variable. It could be any letter, but for this, I'm going to set it as T. So T is equal to the number um, of seashells that Terry collected. Okay, number of seashells that Terry collects. Okay, so five more than twice as many seashells as Terry collected. So that would be 2T, right? Twice as many as Terry collects, and plus five. I'm going to write that closer. Plus five. And the amount that Rachel collected is seven less than four times as many seashells as Terry collected. So first, it's four times 4t minus seven. And we know that they both collected the same number of seashells, so both of these equations, are, well, both of these expressions are equal. Now we just have to solve for t. So first, I'm going to move all of the, all of the numbers on to the left side. So on the left side, we have 5 plus 7. And on the right side, we're moving this, we're subtracting 2t from both sides. So we have 4t minus 2t on this side. So then we will, after simplifying, we would have 2t on one side and 12 on the other side. Of course, then we have 2 times something equals 12. So that something, which in this case is t, would be 6. So the number of seashells that Terry collected is six seashells. Okay, so our second problem, 2021 state competition target around number one. If A, B, and C represent the distinct numbers one, two, and three in some order, what is the, what is the greatest possible value of the expression 117 times A plus 512 times B plus 210 times C. Well, we're trying to get the greatest possible value. So really, you know, with the known numbers we have, 817, 512, and 210, there is a order from greatest to least. That's first 817, then 512, then 210. So what we would want to do is get as much as we can of the biggest value. 
um, and it keeps going down, and we want the least as possible of the smallest value. So, 117 is the biggest known number. And A, B, and C can only be 1, 2, or 3. Out of 1, 2, or 3, 3 is the largest. Then we have 512 times B. Now that 3 is already taken, it's either 2 or 1. But of course, 512 is still greater than 210, so that should be doubled. Then we have 110, and of course, since 2 is already taken, it can only be a 1 left. And now we will just calculate. So um, let's do 817 times 3. So 3 times 7 is 21. 5 and 24. Over here, we have 1024. Over here, we have 210. After stacking all of these, we can add them. So in the ones place, it would be a 5, over here, 8. Um, 6 and 3. So it would equal 3,805 and 3,685 would be um, the greatest possible value of this expression.